Like salt and vinegar? Do we want salt and vinegar? Of course we do. Loads of it. Salt and vinegar and fish and chips are, of course, the very best of friends. But now health bosses are offering shakers with five holes instead of the traditional 17. And it's got some people feeling a bit chippy. I think it's totally ridiculous. I mean, everybody should have the opportunity to say yes or no and make the decision themselves. You know, they're not, we're not stupid. Uh, if you don't put enough on, you say, can I have more on? Um, so then the girls, it's twice the job because they're having to stand there longer and then health and safety wouldn't be happy with me if they get tennis over. Lenita might not be impressed, but just one portion of fish and chips contains up to half of your daily salt allowance and supporters of the new shakers say that if all 1,000 of our region's chippies take them on, salt consumption could drop by up to 28 tonnes a year. And research shows that no matter how many holes, we tend to shake three times, so the hope is that it would go unnoticed. Now, I don't know about you, but I keep a very keen eye on exactly how much salt's going on my chips. And so if they reduce the number of holes in the shaker, I'd definitely notice, wouldn't you? Yeah, because my arm would ache, because I'd be shaking a bit more. No, it's true, but... I'll just carry on shaking. Keep on shaking. Keep on shaking. Keep on shaking, <laughs> yeah. I'll just leave it alone and carry on with the shakers they've already got. Been going for hundreds of years like that. Works fine. Well, obviously, I'd have to make some more holes. There is, of course, the other obvious question. Every time we go to the chippy, isn't there something else we should be worrying about? My concern really would be more about the, their intake of unhealthy fats, such as saturated fats and trans fatty acids. I think the amount of salt that they're putting on is probably less of an issue. So, not the tastiest of ideas for Salford salt lovers, and with the scheme costing £6,000, many of them today were asking, haven't our health chiefs got bigger fish to fry? Nina Warhurst, Channel M News.